everyone, DSP here. Welcome to the Week in Preview for July 23rd, 2017. We are rounding out and ending the month of July, hopefully on a high note for you, with some of the stuff that I've got in store for you this coming week, all right? Um, just to get everyone caught up on everything that's been going on. This past week, I came back from my time off in full force. I did a fighting game stream of Ultra Street Fighter 2. I finished up my Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sim playthrough, including all of the boss fights, all of the DLCs, even the things I didn't do in my first playthrough of the game three years ago, such as finishing off the Ancient Dragon, doing the Dark Lurker dungeon and boss, and even the, um, the end of the Ivory King DLC that I never completed. I completed everything, so that playthrough is now 100% complete and live on DSP Gaming. In addition to that, I did a whopping... I believe it was seven plus hours of Danganronpa 2 this week. So now I'm firmly in kind of the middle of uh, chapter three of Danganronpa 2. <clears throat> plus, as a special surprise, and thanks to, it was uh, Raul, I believe, who provided me with the code to do it, I played the Destiny 2 beta on Wednesday, which I was not very impressed with. In fact, I mean, I'll be quite honest with everyone here, the Destiny 2 beta feels exactly like Destiny 1. There was no new classes shown off, no new abilities, uh, weapons were pretty much identical. Everything about the game felt like you were playing Destiny 1, which is not a good thing when you're trying to sell a sequel to show that your game is exactly the same as the first game. Is like, then why are you selling another one? It's the same fucking thing, right? Um, so, <clears throat> that is what I tackled this week. Now, some people had issue with me because I did not play Splatoon 2 this past week. As I told you last week, I was on the fence about it, and I wanted to get your input on whether or not I should have played Splatoon 2. I'm not kidding here. I'd say out of all the input I got via the forums, social media, and emails... Probably about 80% of the people who contacted me said, don't bother playing it. It doesn't look good. It looks like it's exactly the same as the first Platoon, meaning you'll probably play it for a session and it'll be okay. And then you'll get bored of it because it has the same problems as the first game, including the fact that you can only play a certain amount of maps during certain time frames. Now it's like every two hours, you can only play like two maps. And you have to wait two hours for it to update or something like that. Just like the first Platoon, which the only reason they did that the first Platoon was because they knew there wasn't enough content at launch to warrant a full game purchase. So they limited what you could play to make you play it slower so you wouldn't run out of content right away. And it seems like Splatoon 2 is more of the same. Now some people have told me, oh, there's a new mode that's a little different called Salmon Run and all that. But ultimately, when the vast majority of people come out and say, Phil, don't play Splatoon 2. You're not, we're not really going to care too much about it. Your stream is probably no one's going to come to watch it. And the fact is, I can't even make money on the videos on YouTube, then why play it? That's the bottom line. Um, nothing in this game has really appealed to me and made me, wow, I want to play it, you know what I mean? Therefore, I skipped it. What I did do is once I finished um, my Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sim playthrough, I started today with Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmare Expansion DLC. Uh, I played for roughly around two to three hours today. That will be continuing this week, which I'm excited about. There'll be more Danganronpa 2 coming up this week. Um, later in the week, I'll be checking out a new character in Overwatch. And if there's time, much later in the week, depending on how long it takes me to finish up Undead Nightmare, I may be doing some extra things, such as, for example, maybe some fighting games, or maybe I'll be doing um, even something like Near Automata, all right? I'll talk about all that in a moment, all right? But... One quick thing that I want to mention, because some people have been asking me about this over the past couple of weeks, is what's going on with the current patron events? Because I haven't been mentioning them very much recently, plus I had the time off, so we're, obviously that was a big chunk of days I didn't talk about them. We're almost at the end of July, which means there's an upcoming Indies Marathon, which I'm going to talk about in this week in preview, but there's also a Gotta Go Fast Sonic playthrough coming up, so let me give you the results of all of that, the voting and everything that's been going on on thekingofhate.com. First of all, an Indies Marathon. I actually owe everyone an Indies Marathon by the end of this month. And I've decided the perfect day to do it would be the last day of the month, July 31st. So July 31st, one week from tomorrow, um, on my uh, Twitch channel, uh, Darkside Phil, and obviously on DSP Gaming, I'll be doing a big session of indie games. Now, what games are involved? Well, let me give you some examples of games that were nominated and voted. Um, Dust and Elysian Tale, excuse me. Um, Night in the Woods. Bro Force, okay? That's just a few. There was like six or seven games. Here's the thing, though, and this is what I want to emphasize in this video this week. If you're a patron, a $5 patron, and you have premium forum access, and you have not voted on this thread yet, please do. The reason I'm t saying this, the last time I checked, which was a day ago, there was a five-way tie okay, for the games to be played. The problem being, my, sh my uh, marathon streams usually last about seven hours. Usually I start around noonish. you know, I do a pre-stream or whatever, then by 12, 31 o'clock there's gameplay, and it usually goes till between 7 and 8 p.m. at night, which is good. That's great. You know, it's a good amount of co content, and allows me to maybe play three or four games for one to two hours each to get a good taste of each one of those games. And let's face it, every time I do these marathons, typically one or two of the games end up becoming full playthroughs, which is great. So I love doing these marathons. I haven't done one in quite a long time. But you may say, so then what games are you going to play? The answer is, I don't know, because I have, like, a five-way tie. There's no way I could play five or six games during the marathon. It wouldn't be enough for each game. I'd only be playing each game for less than an hour, which isn't cool. You want to at least get a little bit of a, um, an appetizer enough of the game to know what the gameplay is like, right? So, if we don't get more votes in on that poll on the kingofhate.com forums within the next week, it means I'm just going to have to make the executive decision. I'll look at the list of games, and I'll say, gee, what platforms are they available on? You know, what style of game is Because maybe if there's more than one style of game that's represented, maybe I'll eliminate one of them and only play one of them. I don't know. <clears throat> 
The thing is, I haven't played any of the games that are in the running. The only, I take it back, there's one, Shadow Complex, if you guys remember, years and years ago, it was an Xbox Live title on the Xbox 360, Shadow Complex, and I played it, like, once or twice. This was before the era of even streaming, this was when I was just doing offline videos. Um, I never went back to it after one or two sessions, and people were disappointed because they said they had liked the game, but for whatever reason, I just not got, never got back to it. So now they have a new one, Shadow Complex Remastered, they redid it for the modern consoles, so that one, I know what the game is. It's like an action platform, almost like Metroidvania-style game. But the rest of them, I don't know anything about them, at all. So, if we don't get any new votes in this week from patrons who have the premium forum access, I may have to make an executive decision next weekend. I will let you know in the weekend preview next week, definitively what games I'll be playing in that marathon. Alright? Fair enough? The other event coming up for Patreon is the Gotta Go Fast Sonic Summer Playthrough. Right now, in the running, there are three games that patrons are voting on. Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, and Shadow the Hedgehog. Right now, Sonic Adventure 1 is in the lead by a mere six votes. All right? People don't seem to understand how much power they have when they pledge to my Patreon. Like, seriously, by pledging five bucks and getting in on those monthly events, there are sometimes only two dozen people vote on a whole event. I'm not even kidding. Even though there's some 80, 90 people who all pledge five dollars or more to my Patreon every month, there's a big chunk that just don't vote. And because of that, there's an immense amount of power put into the hands of a small group of people. So, if you haven't voted on that Sonic event, please do, all right? Please go vote. Not there. I don't know why I put it to, put it to the Patreon. At the thekingofhate.com, in the, in the Patreon section, please vote. Because right now, I mean, just don't get me wrong. I would absolutely love to play Sonic Adventure 1. I love Sonic Adventure 1. I played that game, I believe, three full times on the Dreamcast. Because I loved the Dreamcast. That was one of my favorite games for it. It was that and a bunch of fighting games that I had for it. Um, I've not played it now in over a decade. I mean, more than a while, wow, probably 15 years. It was the early 2000s was the last time I played the game. So, it would really be awesome to play it again. Plus, the remastered version that they put out for last-gen consoles looks a lot better. And I love, I absolutely love the soundtrack of Sonic Adventure 1. I love the music in that game. So, if that's a game that wins the poll, I'm happy with that. But, maybe people want to vote or just forgot to vote, didn't realize they could vote. Please vote, patrons, okay? Now... Also, next weekend, I will have, in the Week in Preview, the definitive winner of that poll to announce what that playthrough is going to be. Because guess when that playthrough starts, ladies and gentlemen? It's going to start on August 1st. So, on the 31st, we're going to have an Indies Marathon. On the 1st, it's the beginning of the Sonic Gotta Go Fast playthrough. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for that. Okay? So, that's what's going on with the previous patron events and stuff coming up. This month... On my Patreon. Now I'm pointing to it because now, now I'm referencing it and you should go over there and vote, visit. If you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon in the next week, so we got one week left till the 31st, actually you have eight days left. Eight days left to pledge. Um, you'll be nominating and voting on a Patron's Choice playthrough. The difference here is that I've omitted lengthy JRPGs, uh, visual novels, any of these games that basically have been the Patron's Choice playthroughs in the past three years. Games like Persona 3 and 4, Danganronpa 1 and 2, Yakuza. Not to say they're bad games, they're not. I like playing them, but they're so effing long and drawn out, and especially a game like Danganronpa, very taxing on my voice this whole summer. My throat has been shot because of really bad uh, allergies because the pollen levels have been really high here in Washington State this summer. And it's been hammering me, hammering me. And I, every time I feel like I'm going to recover, then I play Dong and Rampa again. It's like, oh, I had to read text for two, three hours straight. Um, so whatever game ends up winning the nomination and voting will, it will not be, it will be omitted. No JRPGs and no kind of visual novels at all in the running for this next coming uh, Patriots Choice playthrough that will be played over the course of the fall. Because my figure is I'm playing Dong and Rampa 2 now. I hope to finish Dong and Rampa 2 hopefully by the end of August. And then when that finishes, whatever the next game is, that'll be the next downtime game, okay? However, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to give you an alert, because this happened last year during July, well, you may not even realize this, it was July of last year, the same thing happened, we are far away from hitting the goal this month, on Patreon, the funding goal, by about $120, okay, um, yeah, we were actually closer, but then someone who had done a really big pledge last month reduced it down to a lower amount, which is perfectly fine, but now, as you see, this is what's gonna happen, as we get closer to the end of the month, more people are gonna probably have big, big, big pledges last month for the Sonic event, may reduce them, we need more people to pledge, if you wanna have p amazing power, I'm telling you, if only a two dozen people vote, that means you're, like, one, you know, 20th of the people who are gonna freaking be uh, controlling what games I play for a fall downtime playthrough. It's an immense amount of power, all right? Please consider pledging $5 or more by the end of this month. And if we hit the goal, which I hope we do, we still got eight days left to hit it, so it's not like we're, we're so far away, there's no way we can do it. But I am worried, because when you're $120 away, that's a lot to make up in a week, okay? Um, but if we hit the goal, great. The next Patriot's Choice playthrough will happen, and obviously I'll give everyone details on what games are being nominated and whatever when that happens, all right? All right. I know about Patreon, I got it all out of the way. Let's now talk about this week, because this week will be a cool mix of a bunch of different things, all right? So first of all, tonight, right after I finish with this week in preview, even though I know it's almost 9 p.m., it's 8.45 p.m. my time. Every day the time, seriously, 
gets away from me. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to try to set up some new products in my Teespring shop. I've got a few new pieces of artwork submitted by Azure Studios. This is the same gentleman who put together artwork from the skull design on my Teespring shop. The very, very popular skull design. Here it is. He drew this. He designed this, okay? It's the best seller on my Teespring shop. He's actually going to be uh, having two new uh, logos go up live of merch. One of them is really cool. It's me being chased by skeletons. As you know, I was bad ever since I played Dragon Age, um... The original one, Dragon Age Origins. I have issues with skeletons. Skeletons fucking come after me in Dark Souls. They come after me in fighting games. They come after me everywhere. I hate fucking skeletons. And I always have this running joke about how much I hate skeletons. He made a whole design off of that. That's a cool pe one for a shirt, I think. And there's another one, too. So I am going to have both of those. Hopefully, if everything goes okay tonight, I'll let everyone know on Twitter. Hopefully, it'll go according to the plan. I'll have some new merch live on my Teespring later tonight. That's tonight. Tomorrow, more Undead Nightmare on my earlier stream. And on my later stream, Rampa 2. Okay? Tuesday, same kind of deal. I'm going to try to play it by ear, but yeah, it's probably going to be more uh, Undead Nightmare and more Danganronpa 2. Now, Wednesday is up in the air, and the reason I say that is because I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat Undead Nightmare. Right now, I'm about two to three hours into it. I haven't even been to Mexico yet, and I remember there's all kinds of stuff in Mexico, and then there's other side missions and stuff that you have to do. You can try to catch the four uh, horse of the apocalypse, which I never, I haven't found any of them yet. There's a lot of side stuff to do in Undead Nightmare. So I may end up playing this game for two, three, four sessions, or I may finish it in a day or two. I don't know how long it's going to actually take me to finish it up. <clears throat> So that being said, that's why I don't want to say, oh, on Wednesday I'm doing this, because I don't know, I may still be doing Undead Nightmare, I might not, alright? Um, what I can tell you is this, on Thursday, supposedly on the PlayStation 4, in Overwatch there's a new character named Doomfist that's supposed to be released, and I definitely want to check out the new character. So Thursday I'll probably be doing an Overwatch session, paired with maybe Danganronpa 2 or something else Thursday night, we'll see, alright? So what you can guarantee this week is the continuation and conclusion of Undead Nightmare, more Danganronpa 2, and Doomfist and Overwatch. Now, that leaves a lot of uncertainty, because you might say, what, what happens if you finish Undead Nightmare and you have Wednesday free, and what, what's going to happen Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? I'm leaving it open, I'm not promising anything, because I don't want to promise something I can't deliver on. But, what I'm thinking is I could do one of two things. Either I could kind of do, like, random stuff, meaning maybe one day I'll do a session of fighting games where I play, you know, Street Fighter 2 and Tekken or something. You know what I mean? Like, I do some random stuff here or there. Or maybe one day I will try an online random session of Red Dead Redemption, although I doubt almost anyone even plays this game online anymore, so I doubt that you would really be able to do much with, like, Suicide Kings or whatever. Plus, I really ran into the ground with Suicide Kings that first time around when we played it in 2010. But maybe I'll try it anyway. I don't know, all right? Um... Or, and this is the idea that I'm having that I think some people might like, because people have been waiting for it for a ridiculous amount of time. I played Nier Automata way back when, in, when was that? That was, I'm looking here, uh, that was early March, when I had first adopted my new, uh, you know, streaming interaction. I was talking with people in the stream or whatever. It was one of the very first playthroughs that I did it that way. Um, but I only played the game once. And people are telling me that in, it really, in order to see everything in the game, you have to play it three effing times. I said during downtime in the future, maybe I would do it. Now, I finally, this week, may have some downtime. So maybe this week, I'll do a second run through Nier Automata, although I'm not going to remember how to play it. <clears throat> maybe I'll do a second run in the game to see how different it is playing it through the second time. And then maybe later this year, I'll have an opportunity to have to do a third run. Who knows? But that's one of the things I'm considering doing this week. The thing is, even if I have a couple days free, I'm not going to have a ton of time. So it's not like I want to start a giant you know, new game playthrough that I know I'm not going to have time to finish. So some people were like, play Jack 3. I'm like, dude, you know Jack 3 is 20 to 30 hours long. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish Jack 3 in like two, three sessions. So that's definitely out of the picture, okay? So... That's what you can expect gameplay-wise. Let's, let's recap. Undead Nightmare, Danganronpa 2, Doomfist in Overwatch, maybe some more fighting games, and maybe another run through near Automata this week. Now, this weekend, there will once again be a new edition of DSP Tries It. I know people aren't used to this, because DSP Tries It went on hiatus and was basically not being made for a long time. Two weeks running, I've had new episodes. I will have a new episode this weekend as well. So three straight weeks of new DSP Tries It coming out. And uh, this is another good one. This is a, a new item from a fast food chain around here that I wanted to try. And quite honestly, I was surprised. So this will be a good one coming up, all right? Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up. And, you know, who knows? I have an unboxing video at some point this week. I got the new 1UP box. That is the, the one that I've been unboxing in recent months. Um, and I'm going to unbox that and do an unboxing video right here on the King of Hate vlogs of that, all right? Now, some people apparently uh, haven't, uh, didn't hear... People are like, well, what happened to Loot Crate? Why doesn't Phil unbox Loot Crate anymore? Well, basically, here's what happened. This is being completely honest. I unboxed Loot Crate for, what, two, three years straight? And basically, I wasn't getting referrals anymore. Like, people were watching the videos, but people weren't buying Loot Crate subscriptions and using my referral code. Therefore, Loot Crate contacted me and was like, listen, you've been with us for three years. You did great, but it trickled down to almost nothing, and we're not going to keep sending you all these boxes to unbox if no one's doing the referrals for you. So we're going to put you on hiatus, and we may or may not in the future come back to you and resume the loot boxes or the loot crates, okay? So right now, I'm not unboxing loot crate. That was their decision. You know, I can't fight. I can't argue with them. I agree. If people aren't using the referral code in the loot crate videos when I'm unboxing the stuff, then obviously there's no profit for them. Why are they going to keep sending me the stuff, okay? I get that. Uh, I can't argue with that, so... If and when Loot Crate decides to resume those uh, subscriptions with me, I would love to unbox more stuff for you guys, but I don't have any boxes to unbox. But this 1UP box is a new one. They started sending me this stuff, and so that's what I've been unboxing, okay? Um, I think that covers everything. 
All right, so, patrons, please, two things. The Sonic Gotta Go Fast poll and the Indies poll. One week left, please vote if you haven't. Potential patrons, if you haven't pledged, $5 or more, eight days left, please pledge. 120 bucks to go to raise to, to hit the goal. I would really love to do a Patron's Choice playthrough come this fall as downtime with all the new releases, but we gotta hit the goal to do it, all right? Um, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the stuff during the summer. I will say this. I want to say thank you. Because typically the summer, as you guys know, is a slow time. There's no new releases. There's not been one single new release in J July that came out that really I was interested in. I mean, Splatoon, right? No, nothing that I've been interested in. But you guys have been coming to the streams. You've been watching the YouTube videos. Everything you've been doing is great. The thing that sucks about the summer, YouTube ad revenue goes way down during the month of July. It always plummets during the month of July. For whatever reason, YouTube can't get fucking advertisers in the summer. So for me, I've had a good time sharing things like my uh, second run of Red Dead Redemption and Dark Souls 2 with you. But sadly, you know, for me, things have been down behind the scenes. But I'm positive that... That, you know, come August, there's all these new releases coming out in August this year, and in September, October, November, we got gaming overload coming up, and with the way that the streams have been growing, people coming in, new people, followers to the stream, by the way, I just hit 35,000 followers less than a month ago, I'm almost at 40,000 followers already on my, my Twitch page, so I'm getting tons of new followers daily, which is awesome, it means that when those new releases come out, I guarantee you some new people are going to be coming into the streams, so I'm feeling good about the future, I hope you are too, thank you for a good summer so far, I hope to keep you entertained in the next few weeks until the new releases finally come out, then we can obviously, ar bite into them, right, head first, ar take a nice apple, home, Mm, delicious new releases, but we have to get there first. We have to get to that point, and we're almost there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the weekly preview. Without further ado, thank you to the following patrons who made the upcoming Gotta Go Fast Sonic event possible. Peace out. Have a good night, everyone. See ya for Undead Nightmare tomorrow.